Hey, welcome back. So in here, we're going to look at a concept called routing in Laravel. Okay, so that we can start editing things here. So the first thing is first, once we have loaded this, we see this uh, file here, which is loaded. Once we refresh, we get Laravel. So how exactly do we edit this and how do we create our own website here? So let's go back to our folder structure here. Okay. Now, like I said, routes here is a very important uh, folder and also resources. This is what we're going to be dealing with for this episode. So if you look at this file called welcome.blade.php, this is the HTML file that is being displayed here. Okay, so if I come back to this file and let me go down here for a second, you see there's a part called Laravel. It's written Laravel there. So here, if I just edit this and say my website, like so, maybe let me put a capital W there. Okay. So if I say my website here and refresh, you will see that the text has changed accordingly. All right. So this means uh, this is the view file. Now, I want you to notice something inside this view file for a second here. Now in here, you will notice, the first thing you'll notice is that instead of just welcome.blade.php, uh, this could still work if we just say welcome.php. Now the reason there's this thing called Blade in there is because Blade is what is known as a template engine for Laravel. So if this Blade right here is what is making this kind of thing possible, so as you can see here, this is not PHP code. However, it's running like PHP code. So what Blade does is it, whenever it sees something like this, it's going to convert this into some actual PHP code, which will be run. Okay. So for example, in your code, if you wanted to type a, uh, let's say a dynamic variable here, what you would need to do is you would do this. You type PHP like this. Oh. PHP and then say echo and then you have name and then close those PHP tags. This is how you would normally do it in your code. You can still do this here and it will work just fine. However, if you t if you put dot blade in your view files, these are view files here. If you put dot blade there, then it means instead of doing this, you can simply do something like this. You can do uh, Oops, you can put double uh, brackets like that. So doing this is exactly like what we had done before where we put PHP tags and say echo and then we echo that, okay? So once I do this, as long as I have dot .blade there, Laravel is going to know that I have this kind of syntax in here because of that dot .blade there. And then it's going to look for all these and replace them with actual dynamic text. So this looks much cleaner and it doesn't, you don't have to put PHP tags and all that. So it just makes it easier to add dynamic data. And then Blade is very powerful because you can also add if statements in this format, like this one here, and also this authentication there, else, and so on. You can add routing here. So it's quite powerful. You can do quite a lot with it. That's why we'll put dot blade. But if you don't want to use any of this blade stuff, that's okay. Just remove the dot blade there and you don't need to. But even with the dot blade there, it doesn't matter. You can leave it there and just not use this kind of thing, but you use your PHP tags. So as you can see here, this is a dynamic uh, data here that is being displayed. So we'll have a video that's dedicated to uh, blade templating. So no worries there but this is just an example of what the dot blade is actually doing. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, the next thing to note is here. This is the home page right here, right? This is the home page. So now what if I want to add an about page here? So I'm just going to add about at the very end. So public about and hit enter. Okay. So now, because the about page does not exist, uh, this thing is going to give me a page not found, even though here it's not 
refreshing yet. I don't know why it's uh, acting so slow. Oh, that's because it's got Google Fonts in here and it's trying to read from the internet. This is why it's very slow. So let me just uh, close my internet there for a second. That way we can move at a faster pace. Okay, there we go. So if I go back to my website here and then go forward, you see, there we go. It tells me not found. So even if I type in another page user like that, it's going to go back to not found. But maybe if I type index, uh, not found as well. Let's see, what's the other one? Home, is it? Okay, that's not found either. So the home page is just the default page there. So let's see what we can do in order to create an about page. Now, this is very simple to do. So for example, let's go here to views. So all our view pages, the HTML is going to reside in the views here. So I'm just going to create a new file here. And I'm going to just say this is the about page like so and save it. So I will save it in here and I will save it as about dot. Now, if I want to use blade, I will type blade dot PHP. But if I don't, I can just type about dot PHP like that and hit enter. OK, so I've saved it as about dot PHP just so we can see a difference between the two. OK. Now, if I go back here, you see that uh, it still won't work if I add the about here. So let's see, about, it's still saying not found. And why is that? Now, the reason is because you have to add whatever page you have here, you have to add it to the routes here so that it knows where to go. So what exactly is a route anyway? So the way routing, the basic idea, the way it works is like this. You have a website like this website.com and then you have slash here and then this is home like that so what uh, the website does is it's going to look at this text here for example it's going to eliminate that but then you need to look at this and think once you add the first item next to the website name there this must be a page name right and then if there's a slash uh, product here and slash id or something like that it's going to assume uh, these are variables and stuff, but this is the page name. So it's going to try and look for the page name that is named home. If it doesn't find that, then it knows this page does not exist. And then it's going to send us to the 404. So the routing is working using the URL here. So it's checking what is inside your URL and trying to find a route that describes that. So here, because there is no about page, uh, even though the view is there, we have to add it to the routes. So we're going to go down to the routes folder and inside web.php. So if you look closely here, you are seeing that there's a route here that is written. This is the default route. So what it is doing here is that if you know this notation, this means this is a class and this is a method or a function inside this class. So all we are doing is running a function called get inside a class named route. We are doing this in a static manner. That's why we are using this and not that. Okay. So then get takes in two parameters. Here it takes in the URL text and then here it takes in the uh, it it takes in a function. Now the function has this um, this function in here inside the function. There's this function called view which renders a view. And then here we're telling it that render a view named welcome. Now, because in the config here, if you come to the config and click on view.php, we told it that the resource path is the views folder here. So it's going to search in the views folder and try to find that particular view, which is called welcome. And then it knows that blade is sometimes used for templating. So it's going to ignore the blade and the .php. So to look for a file that has welcome there, either if it's just equal to welcome.php or welcome.blade.php, it will still use either of those. So if, for example, uh, let me come back here. You know that I've created an about page, which does not exist so far, uh, which does not exist in the routes. This is the about page, right? 
but I can go back to web.php. Inside this route, what I can do is change this welcome to about like so. So what I'm simply telling it is that when there's no parameter inside the URL, when it's the home page, in other words, load the about page. Find a page, a view called about and load that one, which is this one right here. So if I come back here and do this, instead of seeing this, my website here, if I refresh now, you see, I see this is the about page. So I've successfully changed my home page to this one just by doing this. Okay, so inside web.php. Now I want to do this so that I still get the welcome page, but I also want a uh, an about page. So what I will do here is just duplicate this route, create a new one, but instead of this uh, slash here, I will put about at the other end like so. And then that is about. Then here I would tell it that whenever there is about in the URL, the page I want you to load is named about as well, like so. So it's very possible that you can have something different here and then route it to a different file, just so like we are done here, where this is different, even now this is different, and but we are loading the welcome page. Here I'm telling it that when somebody types about there, it should load the about page. This is the basic idea of routing. So if I refresh here, it's taking me to my original page, but then if I type about like so, then I get this is the about page right there. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So if I want to create a new page, instead of the about page, I want another page called user. Okay, I'm just going to say user there, and then here I'll say user. So when somebody types user in the URL, uh, just load a page called user. So here, since we don't have it, we just have to create the file and say, this is the user page. So this page can have completely uh, full of HTML. It can be a template. As long as it's just HTML, it's good to go. It's going to work. This is the user page. So I will save this user page as user. I'll add blade on this one and then add .php at the end, just to show you that even with the .blade, it's still going to find it. So here I will do user like so. Oh, and it's saying 404. So why is it saying that? Because I haven't saved my web.php page. So let me save that, refresh. And now this is the user page. So this is, this is the basic idea of routing. This is all you need to do in order to route. Just create your view here. Okay. Create the welcome page. Create another page, a user page, an about page, and then just go to web.php and create the required routes for you to be able to see uh, what you want on the other side. Okay, so that's about routing here. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at how to send variables through this routing system, because right now we are only loading HTML here. We don't know how to get our variables here. Let's say, for example, we loaded some names in our URL and we want to see them in this view. So we're going to see that in the next video.